Kia ora. Hi guys, how are you all doing there? Oh, I'll just turn my TV down. Close on. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, it's a bit better. Now you might be able to hear me. What's everyone been up to? Woohoo! Hey, we're going into level two now, so isn't that exciting? Hey? For some of us it means getting back to work. Getting out of the house, getting a bit of normality into our lives. Oh my god, isn't this exciting? It's exciting, but it's still scary because at the end of the day, you know, there is no cure. So, you know, it's baby steps, but still, it's a bit exciting. But I am enjoying doing this diamond painting, absolutely loving it. You can just about see the hearts. Let me show you. So you can just about see the heart. So tomorrow's Mother's Day. Now tell me, what on earth do you do for Mother's Day when all the shops are closed? I've been battling this all day long. It's like, oh my God, what am I going to get my mum? What am I going to get my mum? So I've decided to... Um, Go to the shop and see if they have any oysters because I know oysters are her favourite, her favourite fruit ever. I don't know if we have any though. Um, she doesn't like chocolates, she doesn't like biscuits, she doesn't drink alcohol. God, she's so hard to buy for. So hard to buy for, but you know, got to do something because, oh, got to do something for her. She's an amazing woman. Absolutely amazing. She's Irish and she has the biggest heart of gold. Boy, does she what. She looks after everybody and anybody but herself. She really does. She'll take care of everybody and anybody, you know. But I tell you what, man, boy, you cross her. Woohoo! Watch out. I don't get on the wrong side of here. <laughs> mm. But, um... Yeah, so I'm a bit stumped there for what to do for Mother's Day. Um, I'm sure everybody else is in the same boat as well. Um, hopefully I can get this hat finished by tonight and then I can post her and say, Oh, here you go, Ma, here's a hat. A hat from me to you. <laughs> she follows my um, my channel on YouTube and watches all my videos that I do so happy Mother's Day mummy and I love you I love you to the moon and back you're my meaning you're my inspiration in life and I've picked up all your good traits do good by everybody like you do treat everybody with respect look after everybody and just give 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 my mum's a real giver, not a taker. She will just give, 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 you know. She's an amazing woman. She really is. So, yeah, write in, your, in the comments, what are you going to do for Mother's Day this year? Isn't it so hard? Especially when they don't eat cakes or chocolates or biscuits or alcohol or... No, all that's off the gender. <laughs> but, um, so my next bet is to oysters. She loves her oysters, so hopefully I can treat her with some oysters. Just hope we, we've still got some at the shop. It's probably one of the things that they can't get in at the moment, so... Hopefully that's not the case. So yeah, if you can hear my TV going, it's the um, food challenges. I'm really hooked on them at the moment. Don't ask me why, I just I just think it's amazing how people can eat so much food. How can they eat so much food? It's just like, oh. But then they train for it, they're professionals and they train for it and whatnot. It is quite amazing. Thirty-six McDonald's Big Mac burgers 
is the one to beat. 36. So are you serious? I can't even eat two. I don't know, what do they do? Starve themselves for like a whole week? <laughs> no, one of them said, one of the contestants said that um, what they do is they practice by drinking water you know, to expand their stomach muscles, which makes sense. But really? Why would you put yourself through that? I don't know. I suppose it's like them looking at me thinking, really? Why do you do diamond painting? Why do you put yourself through that? <laughs> I suppose it is all the same, isn't it? But I am absolutely loving doing this. This is the wine glass from DP Supri. And oh, honestly, it's just amazing to work on. Oh my god, now they're going to have a chicken, chicken nugget contest. Oh god, here we go. I've got it all. Yep. Oh god, and they ordered a a Big Mac. So all the chicken nuggets and a Big Mac. Just a Big Mac, really, really, guys. Just a Big Mac. And now they're arguing about it and <laughs> drive through at McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, that'd be so funny. I would hate to be on drive through. I have been on drive through at McDonald's years ago. I used to work at McDonald's actually, and I think I worked there for like I don't know a couple of years. They put me on drive through. I think I lasted a week and I left. No, how? No, no way. Am I putting up with that? You get so abused. They're like, I want this, I want that. Uh, well, no, sorry, we don't have this in stock, but I want this. Uh, no. And I think that's exactly what's happening here now. So they're arguing with the cashier because they can't get what they want. <laughs> oh, God, that brings back memories. Just accept it. Just say, okay, next. So I haven't really done much today. Um, just catching up uh, with my parents. Um, yeah, it's really cool catching up with them. I love catching up with them. <laughs> I'm sure I'm driving them nuts going around there all the time though. I'm sure they're so over me at the moment. They're probably looking forward to when we're going to level two and I no longer have to go around there. And I can just see my dad now. I bet to guarantee you he'll be booking a, um, a trip away, which we're allowed to in level two within New Zealand. Not out of New Zealand. We are allowed to travel within New Zealand. So, you know, but I did say to mum the other day, I said, look, you know, don't be too upset, but I think dad will probably be going away soon on another holiday. Just before we went into lockdown, our borders were closed. He actually had an Aussie. He booked a trip to go to Aussie. Does it every year because we basically live between here and Australia. And um, I'm filming. Sorry, that was just someone knocking at my door. Um, but yeah, so. He had a trip planned to go to Australia and two weeks before our borders close, and he's 80 this year, and we were like, no, no, Dad, not good. It's not a good idea. And he's like, oh, no, no, I'm going, I'm going. I was like, oh, my God, this is not good. This is not good. Please don't go. Please don't go. And then out of the blue, he turns around and says, oh, I've decided to cancel my trip. Well, bugger my days. Next minute you know, the borders are closed. You can't travel, but he'd already bought his tickets and everything. 
They have refunded his tickets. He has to use them, though, within the year. Still a bit of a worry, though, even within the year. Because um, there's no cure for the coronavirus, I'm still worried about him travelling. Um, I guess just... You know, I'm always worried, always worry about them. But then you do that, don't you? So please don't go, please don't go. Yeah, what can you do? Can't force him to stay home. But yeah, now that they're um, going into level two, they're trying to get New Zealanders to spend more time here within New Zealand. You know, like North Islanders, go down south and check out what they've got. South Islanders, come up North Island and check out what they've got. Blah, blah, blah. The only problem is, we all have to work. So if we all have to work, who's going to be doing the travelling? <laughs> I'd love to go down South Island. I mean, I've, I've, I've never been down South Island, but I have lived in Brisbane, Terragindi. Um, worked at Sunnybank Private Hospital. Um, yeah, totally loved it. Totally loved the weather because I'm a real summer person, not a winter person. Everyone said, oh, you'll hate the weather. You'll hate the weather. It's too hot. Too hot. No, I absolutely love the weather. Love the bird life, love the wildlife. Um, yeah, that's totally up my alley. Have to say though, um, yeah, no, maybe I won't say it. <laughs> Let's put it this way New Zealand and Australians don't get along. <laughs> um, and yeah, and I really felt that when I was there. Um, yeah, which is a shame, but it was expected. Um, but yeah, when we come out of lockdown, everyone's like going to want to go travel. And quite honestly, I just want to stay home. I, I'm, yeah, no, I think it'll take a while for me to want to go traveling. I've always wanted to do a boat cruise. Go on a boat cruise, cruise. Yep, <laughs> so I've always wanted to do that. Just you know, like unpack once and have all the shows and all the food and oh, it looks amazing. But now it's like, oh how no, how no, I am not going to do that. Oh, I think I'd just rather stay here in New Zealand in my own little bubble. <laughs> I feel safer. But, uh, <laughs> Did you hear that? It's my party and I'll die if I want to. <laughs> that was on a food eating challenge. That was a good one, wasn't it? That was well said. But anyway, let me know in the comments. What are you doing? What are your plans for Mother's Day? Tomorrow. Considering all the shops and everything are closed. Um... What special things do you have for your mum? I'm just absolutely so wrecked in this. I just can't stop working on it. <laughs> I'm nearly like halfway through this and I've only been working on it, what, two days? Two days. I haven't really spent that much time on it. It's just so easy to do. It's just one of those that are just so easy to do. Like, you know, I've been out most of today. I only got home about 3 o'clock this afternoon. And what is the time now? Must be about half 5, 6 o'clock. Roughly. So, I don't spend that much time on it. Um, what am I doing tonight? I'll probably, yeah, carry on with this tonight till about 8 o'clock. 
until they spark up the barbecue. And once they spark up the barbecue, because it's still so fucking hot here. It's like summer. And yet we're supposed to be like winter, but you know, we're just enjoying the weather while we can. Um, totally. It's just been amazing weather here. Um, so enjoy it while, while we've got it. Um, probably have a wine or a beer or whatever's in the fridge. Whatever they've put in the fridge is basically what I'll end up having. Hopefully it's a wine. They always think of me. They always put a wine in the fridge. So there will be a wine. Um, my favourite food on the barbecue though is spicy chicken wings. I love my spicy chicken wings. No, I did try this thing uh, today and it's a new one that's just come out. Well, I don't know if it's just come out or not, but it was a Maggie's onion soup mix with chilli. But it's an additional, it's only, yeah, not going to be out for long. So, it's like, why? After trying it, it's like, why? That was absolutely amazing. Absolutely loved it. But, um, won't be on the shelves for long, so if you see, if you come by it, definitely grab it. If you like your chilli, definitely grab it. Because you can turn into a chilli dip as well. I actually just tried it as a soup today to see what it was like. Whoa, yep. Oh yes, oh yes. Totally loved it. Totally loved it. So if you see it, grab four packs. Trust me, I only grabbed two, and I regret it now. Wish I'd grab more. But um, yeah, it won't be on the shelves for long, or so they say. Okay, right, I'm being summoned, so I have to go. Sorry, I have to cut the video short, but um, I am being summoned. Probably to go do the barbecue. Seriously, I just made all the food for the barbecue, now I've got to go cook it. Are you serious? They better have some decent bloody wine in that fridge for me, if that's what they want. Okay, guys. Well, have a good night. Or evening. And let me know, what are your plans for Mother's Day? Give me the big thumbs up. <coughs> Subscribe to my videos. And hit the bell so you know when new ones come up. And um, if you don't like my videos that I'm doing, well, can I just say, hit the like button. And hit subscribe. Kakite. That's all for now. Bye.